Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you like these movies, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified. There are lots of times where I really struggle to select objects because I've got the wrong class settings or I've got the wrong layer settings or I just can't remember where that object is stored. I can't remember what layer it's on. So for example, if I wanted to select this toilet, I could go through all my layers and look for where that toilet is stored or well, the easy way is to right click on it and choose Force Select and Vectorworks will actually change my layer. You can see here it's changed. So let's just undo that. We'll go back to it. You'll notice that I'm looking in the roof layer at the moment. Well, roof is my active layer. Right click on the toilet, choose Force Select and now Floor 1 is the active layer. It's also activated whatever class I need. It's selected the object and it's a really quick way just to select the objects when you don't know where they are. So I can right click here for select and it takes me to select that uh, Perlin and it's taken me to my roof layer. So that is a really quick way just to select the objects you want. Right click for select and now whatever layer that is floor one section line so it's selected that. Now let's take this a step further. Now I know that I've turned the class of this to gray if I have a look at my class settings, this is on my plumbing. Plumbing fixtures is grayed out, so I actually know that that's the way it is. Let's go back to here. You can see I'm in my roof layer. I right click on the toilet, choose Force Select. It selects the toilet, sure, but it also makes that my active class. Let's just have a look here. It's still grayed, but it's made that class active so that I can select it. So Vectorworks will actually make changes to your layers and changes to your classes to allow you to select those objects. It's really quick, really powerful.